fix, let's fix something <laughs> right here. You're very physically fit, very strong woman, but there was a lot of weight on your shoulders and the other drivers to get this done. I believe so, but when you have, seriously, that amount of support behind you, it's really not that heavy. I've watched Antron and Tony and other DSR teams carry that weight before and get it done. And I feel like, you know, when, you, when we say we're racing one round at a time, that is seriously that mindset, instead of even, you know, believe the exact opposite and put everything on you. I mean, this, uh, the conditions out there were, were varying all weekend long, and that's why my hats and kudos go off to, to Joe, Marlon, and, and Todd for continuously finding what was right and wrong and then and, and adjusting to it and overcoming, uh, you know, what we had in the right lane. But, yeah, the, 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 the top fuel win for, for two mock races is Brainer, so I guess that would have been us. So that, that has been a minute, uh, but there is strategy behind, behind what we're doing, and it all has to do with the countdown. And, yeah, you want to win every race, but this was this was very special in a lot of ways. Was, yes. Always there's a lot of back and forth between drivers and crew chiefs on a typical race weekend. When we talk about a race weekend like this where the racetrack was a very big factor and there were physical things you needed to be doing inside the car to make it work, talk about that. Does sure. it change that? Absolutely. So what a lot of people don't know is when drivers roll up, they're rolling up for where they're going to wet, where they're going to burn out, which typically isn't where you're going to run your line. Now, the groove down track is a groove. We've figured out throughout the weekend that there's better traction in different parts of the groove down track, and particularly where that transition is, it's very important to hit that very square. So if you're moving from the inside of a groove to the outside of the groove and don't have it square by the time you get there, you can have some extra upset of a car. And for us, we have additional wheel speed already that we were struggling with. So those were those are my key factors. It wasn't even who I'm, who I'm racing, who's in the next line, who's going to try and stage what. It was when we say the drivers have to be perfect, it's more than just on the tree. It's about making sure it, it goes down the track. Particularly, too, I know uh, Formula Drift is here next weekend, and i got some great friends over there, and there have been a couple runs where you stick with it. When it takes guts to go 330 miles an hour with you know those wheels spinning and doing things that are taking it to its edge, that's when you know you're doing great things with incredible people. What do you like to live with when you have a bad patch? Isn't that a long time for you? Everybody kind of says that, right? They call it a slump and they call it a drought. I think you're talking somewhat to the wrong person because I waited 20 years or so, 19, to, to get my first top fuel win. When you have that glimpse of, uh, of victory and you, you continue and you chase and you, and you drive and you encourage each other even more, then you gain more victories. And that's what we had at Schumacher. So we know that we're capable and that's what we live off of. I think having a completely positive mindset and that's the culture that our top fuel team in Schumacher lives within. Um, not letting you know non-wins for a certain number of races get us down. Given Don is there and he's letting us know, but it's it's really that drive, determination, and uh, advancements and the never will to give up. And today, that's what this team put on the track. And this, <laughs> this, this win, it means a lot and to have it, to do it with Lucy here, we, she's been, there's a young lady, Lucy, uh, the Make-A-Wish granted a wish for her. Her one wish was to spend a weekend with us racing, and that's what she got to be everywhere, in the pits, with the fuel, in the tow vehicle, with the guys from first thing in the morning to the end, and uh, on race day I get pretty, so, uh, uh, I have a lot of solitude. I, I don't touch my phone, I don't talk to anybody, and uh, she was, you know, she's my sister in there, and we're going round after round after round, and I'm like, girlfriend, this is it not, you know, it, it, it's may not, it's not, this is a wish, and this is my wish too, <laughs> that we can, that we can win together, and um, she has actually, you want to talk about attitude, she has carried the attitude for this entire weekend, uh, for her to be upbeat and positive about her condition, and be out here in this heat when her condition is about swelling, and I think I'm hot right now, she has to deal with her, her body swelling to life-threatening situations, and uh, for us to win with her in Hotlanta, uh, this one is for her and the Ronnie Thames Foundation. Oh, no, go, no, go ahead. <laughs> what do you think of the, the you know, it's, it's, what is it, Women of Power Month? You know, and then you got two, two females in the winner's circle this time. So. I think that's pretty cool. I'd much rather, I guess, see Matt Hagen win for my Mo4 guy. You know what I mean? Mopar <laughs> muscle. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm true to my people, and that Mopar team has supported us very heavily. You know, we're super closely aligned. But yeah, there's. It's, I don't think it's Mopar month, or I'm sorry, I don't think it's it's whim, you know, month of the woman, so to speak, or, or the year. I think what NHRA has done and what the fans have um, not only absorbed but encouraged and gotten behind 
it's strengthening us. So I don't, you know, I don't think we're here for a small amount of time. You know, we've got a lot of incredible people that believe in us, and we just we just happen to be a woman doing the things that other guys have been incredibly great at. It's almost old hat having two two women on one or something. It's, it's happened a few times. And it has. It's definitely not old hat to me. <laughs> no, I mean, it's for two. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, it's almost commonplace. It's not commonplace, but it's not unusual. It, if you look at, I look at it from a ratio standpoint. What is the ratio of women in that particular category? And it's very small. So that is why I consider it a big deal. Not necessarily because we're a woman, but say there were, you know, there were two red coins and a sea of black coins and the two red keep popping up on top like what are the chances of that well no there's something to it and if what's to it are our partners and the people that believe in us but it starts with believing in yourself and i know that courtney and Brittany and the other woman and erica believe real hard in themselves and that is very infectious i think and, and believe in yourself and you get people that believe in themselves too and you put it together and man on a sunday you get a wally <laughs> Lee, you started this conversation talking about a very specific plan that DSR has that you all are have, have been on since the start of the season. Is this win then a statement that that plan is starting to work really well? You might have to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you won, not me. <laughs> I, I would say so. I mean, it's, it's not like we had this huge big powwow between all of the seven teams, which now Schumacher is eight. Uh, no, nine, if you, if you count <laughs> yeah. all the cars we have. Uh, but particularly for our team, for Todd and Joe, we came out last year and we raced. We were a new team, as in the members, coming together and we all brought our A game and it worked really well and we just raced and raced and raced. And raced even better with what we were good at, but weren't able to work as hard or get the results we wanted in particular conditions. So this year when we, you know, just like Torrance and a lot of other drivers feel like, man, that countdown, you know, it can sting. Or you can make it not sting for you, and you can, you know, be a little bit, try try new things earlier in the season to get ready for it. And at the end of the day, we all race the same countdown. That's the, you know, that's the, that's the situation that we're given, and uh, it's it's Survivor, man. It's whoever plays that game the best. 